Sitefinity lets you build your presentation layer on .NET Core and comes with a set of front-end development tools available right out of the box. Using View Components, we've mapped the Sitefinity widget development model to the .NET Core development model. This video will walk you through building widgets on .NET Core. In this video, we'll go over creating custom widgets with .NET Core. In a previous demo, we showed you how to connect your existing .NET Core application to a Sitefinity instance. As our next step, we'll look at building custom widgets on .NET Core. For the sake of this demo, the code has already been added, but we'll go over it explaining every step. We start with the widget itself. To map the .NET Core development model to the Sitefinity widget development model, we decided to use View Components, as they very closely match the structure and logic of Sitefinity widgets. View Components have a single invoke method, which can also be an invoke async method, and they can work with a number of views. In this demo, we'll be using the default one. The key difference to the standard View Components is that we are decorating ours with the Sitefinity widget attribute, so we know that the View Component will be used in Sitefinity pages. Another important difference is a parameter that's being passed. The iView component context contains all the context specific data to execute. So, as a first generic parameter, we have the entity class, which holds all the properties that will be configured in the widget editor. And in this example, we have a single string property named message. Now, let's go over to the views and see what we have. We have a simple view only with an h1 tag showing the message that we have in our entity class. Now let's see it in action. We'll run the application. Application is running and I'll just refresh the page. On this page, I'll add our new widget. As you can see, next to the content block widget, we have a hello world widget. Now let me type a hello world message. You can see our hello world here. We can inspect it and see that we have an H1 tag. Here's our hello world message. In edit mode here, we're inserting some additional attributes and markup in order to make this page editor work with these widgets. Now I'll save it as a draft. I'll hit preview. And in the preview, we can see that we have our Hello World widget with no attributes and tags inserted whatsoever, just the HTML that was in the view.